Right now on Last Chance Kitchen, Natalie has a shot at redemption. Appreciate that. She came in strong and won the first elimination challenge, but was gone the next. Today is a new day. Can she prove that she was cut too soon, or will the vets take out another Top Chef Kentucky contestant? Do you guys know how much of a beast Natalie is? Beast? This is Last Chance Kitchen, brought to you by Hidden Valley Ranch. I'm disappointed I didn't go further. I made some poor decisions because of things that were out of my control and that I just couldn't bounce back from. Hey, Natalie. Welcome to Last Chance Kitchen. Thank you very much. You recognize these guys? I see some familiar faces. You're going to need to beat each one of these guys. Seeing the veterans standing there, it's a little intimidating, but as much as everything surprises you, nothing should surprise you. I got to say, I was surprised to see you go so soon. Your first dish was so strong. Natalie won the first elimination challenge and went home on the second. She looks like a competitor. I think she's going to be a beast, so I'm not taking any of these chefs lightly. So Natalie, you wanted to make this lemon curd tart. What happened? Why, why wasn't lemon enough? I think part of it was just uh, lack of ingredients. I'm nervous about money, guys. He's got over $500 worth of lamb. What? Can I go one of these I'm instead of that extra too. heavy cream? I'm making a lemon dessert. I'm battling to get lemons onto the conveyor belt. Natalie, go. is there any way I can grab those lemons? Save the middles. Yeah, it is for you. Absolutely. Thank you. Guys, the teamwork right now is really putting a smile on my face. I was definitely a little too nice. Being early in the competition, you still see people as friends, and you kind of forget that it's a competition. Today's a new day. Today is a new day. Lemons. I want to give it another shot at making me a dish with lemon in it. Okay. Just one thing. I want to see you stretch that flavor because you're only getting one lemon each. All right. To be utilizing one lemon in a lemon forward dish, it's a little scary. I already messed up with two and a half lemons, so is one lemon going to be enough for me? Whether it's zest or pulp or juice, use it all. For me, this is the kind of challenge that you come to Top Chef to do. It makes you think, what can I do with a lemon? One lemon. When light throws a little lemon at you, Make some lemonade, but make it tasty. Only three of you are moving on to the next round. You have 30 minutes, and your time starts now. I'm over here, Jim. I'm going to fabricate this lemon like it's a pig. I mean, Ruta to the tutor. I'm going to make sure that this lemon gets stretched as far as it can. You're going to have lemon juice. You're going to have lemon heads. You're going to have lemonade. And we'll going to pull a bubble gum on this lemon right now. What's your plan, brother? I'm going to do salmon and a really nice salad. Nice. Chef, what are you making? I'm going to do uh, pork tenderloin. I decided to do a lemon pan sauce, grilled pork tenderloin, roasted lemon, to have Tom squeeze the charred lemon over the whole plate, and then just dress it with arugula. Tom said lemons. Here's lemon. I want redemption from the first round of Last Chance Kitchen. I'm going to use this challenge to prove to Tom that I can do the most with one lemon. I'm going to cure it. I'm going to grate it. I'm going to supreme the meat. I'm going to use the juice in a couple of different ways. Brother, man, what are you into? I'm making a lemon fluid gel for more flavor. What else is going with your fluid gel? I'm going to do a salmon tartare. Lovely. Brother is also doing a raw salmon dish. I'm feeling up for the challenge. I'm actually very confident in this dish where I wasn't confident in the first round. I'm willing to go head to head with brother on some raw salmon. What are you working on? I'm gonna do some grilled veg and hopefully incorporate lemon a whole bunch of ways. I definitely just need to pick something and go with it. I'm essentially grabbing all things that are green. Some asparagus, some peas, some Brussels sprouts. I wanna stand out against some veterans. Do you guys know how much of a beast Natalie is? I mean, she's a stud. Beast. Beast. I'm getting in their head for you, Natalie. Good, thank you. Yeah, appreciate that. <laughs> Melon is so ripe. Thank you, Kentucky. I don't have to do nothing. All I'm going to do is melon ball this. I mean, I'm balling. Balling! So the melon's also going to add a refreshing taste to this dish. The salmon's fatty. The lemon is high in acid. I need some sweetness, and I need some juice to kind of round all of that out. Ellie? Chef. How you doing? Hanging in there. Yeah, oh, look at this. Supremes. Good move. Friends. And what are you making? Just gonna do a little little veg side dish. Grilled asparagus, Brussels sprouts, and peas. So why'd you go in this direction? I just wanted to make sure that I didn't hide any lemon since there's only one. Doing a side dish for Tom is definitely kind of ballsy. I am a little worried that I don't have a protein, but the challenge is to present something that's lemon forward. 
Jim, Jim, Hi, Jim. Jim, Jim, what do we got here? I'm gonna do a little bit of a salmon, apple, jalapeno, lemon salad. I've got some lemons doing a quick preserve over there. Awesome. And I've got some burnt pith here. The pith is the layer underneath the zest. And it's the layer that is by far the most bitter. And in my mind, I think that burning the pith will decrease the bitterness and make it usable. I've never done this technique before, but I'm definitely going to give it a shot and see how it goes. It to be like your stage name, Burnt Pith. Burnt Pith. It's me, Burnt Pith. <laughs> Brother. Yes, Chef. You got salmon too, huh? Yes, sir. All right, salmon head to head. What else? Uh, I'm making a yuzu vinaigrette right now. I'm going to do the lemon gel uh, with a marinated lemon melon, some gooseberries, some carrots. Do you have time to get lemon gel and done? Tartar. It's already in the blast chiller. The blast chiller yeah. helps, huh? Not a rookie. <laughs> no, not a rookie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Chef. How you doing? Pretty well, thanks. Grilling some lemons? Yep. And grilling lamb? Is that lamb right there? It's a pork tenderloin. Pork tenderloin, okay. Yeah. I'm going to go super simple. I'm going to make a pretty classic Le Blanc. Okay. With the other half of the lemon. In You know, when you grill lemons, it's like, one of the best flavors for me. Yeah, it's I great. love it. Yeah, I do too. So I'm just gonna watch you feel this. Feeling good after your first win? That was pretty awesome. It was good. Yeah. Biscuit was good. Thank Let's you. Say. My mother will be so proud. So. That's good. Well, thank you, Chef. 16 minutes, Chef. 16 minutes. What do you think? Too soon to tell. Too soon to tell. I found a really unique way to stretch this lemon into this dish. The lemon zest is actually worked into the tartare. So it's getting that bright lemon oil actually seasoning the fish. Do you think you would be better at elimination challenges or quick fires or like last chance That's a good kitchen? question. I don't, I don't know. I would never do it now. I'm, oh, way, too, I'm way too old for this. You're too mature. This is, no, You're no, this is a young person. This is a young person's <laughs> game. Oh, line for the blush chiller. Crunch time. Five minutes left. Five minutes left. To be out this early was obviously frustrating and embarrassing and, and disappointing. So the opportunity to have a second chance, I don't want to waste that. One minute. One minute. Four, three, two, one. Time's up. Natalie? Chef. So, what do we have? Side of veg with some grilled asparagus, some Brussels sprouts and peas. It's in a little burnt miso, fermented black bean, lemon sauce. And so the lemon, you have suprems in here? So I have suprems. I use the juice. I use the zest. Great, thanks. Jim, tell me what you made. A little piece of raw salmon that yeah. has been finished with uh, the quick preserve lemon, a little bit of charred asparagus, toasted pecan, celery leaf, Brussels sprout, and apple. I don't know if you got that awesome little salty bite. It's actually this piece right here. That's the preserved lemon, the mm -hmm. quick preserved lemon. Good. Thanks. Thank you, Chef. Brother. Chef? What we got here? So I wanted to break down the lemon. The juice was turned into a gel. The zest was worked into the actual flesh of the salmon tartare. We used a little bit more of the peel to work into the vinaigrette with some yuzu. The melon adds a nice sweetness to it. Great, thanks. Thank you. Karen. Hey, Chef. Today I have a grilled pork tenderloin mm -hmm. with a uh, grilled lemon, a lemon burr, and a lemon and olive oil dressed arugula. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> He ate the garnish. He wasn't supposed to eat the garnish. He was supposed to juice the garnish. <laughs> I'm cringing for her because she didn't expect that. She just wanted the juice on the plate. But he saw it on the plate and said, I'm eating this thing. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Well, chefs, uh, you've got four really nice dishes. Lemon, what I love about it is it gets you sort of a little further back on the tongue, but you really need to actually have it combined with a few other flavors as well. You definitely need salt, so you get it up on the front, um, but it also helps to get fat in that dish so it comes all around your mouth. And I think all of you did that. I liked listening to how you were trying to work the lemon in, how to use all parts of it, so I think you all embraced the, the challenge. I did have one favorite. Carries. That grilled lemon was just a powerhouse. It was wow, just, thank you. you get a bite of it, and because it's grilled, it's smoky, it, it's rich, it actually becomes a real ingredient in the dish as opposed to an accent. So, great way to go. And the rest of the dish was just so simple grilled lemon, grilled pork, and a little bit of arugula and some fat. Can't go wrong. It's two in a row now. Woo!
Win number two. Thank you, Tom, for eating the whole lemon. I'm going to put that on my menu. The dish I like second. I like the way the, the lemon, especially the zest, was incorporated. There was a lot of different textures to the dish. It was lemon forward without being too acidic. Brothers. Thank you. I love the way you got the zest into the fish. I like the way you had the salmon. Nice job. I take second. I'm OK with second again. Carrie wins. Shocker. She's, <laughs> she's MacGyver. I knew she was a threat. I've really, really got to step my game up against her. I like both dishes. Natalie, I, I think your dish was really fresh. That grill flavor, that smokiness works with the acid. Jim, I love the texture of the salad a lot. You had the salmon there, which kind of give it that fat foil. You really haven't made this decision easy. I got to say, the one dish that I liked the least, I think there was a missed opportunity in working with that lemon. And my least favorite of the two. Jim. I think the missed opportunity was getting that zest on the fish, so that flavor kind of got into that fish. Sorry, Jim. It's all right. Got to go. Yeah, good seeing you again. Good, great to see you, Take Chef. Care, Thank yeah. you. This go around of Last Chance Kitchen, I learned that as a chef, I still love to compete, but it hurts. I came here to win. I can still envision Padma saying, Jim, you are top chef, but today wasn't my day. Chefs, we're just getting warmed up. My advice, keep your eye on the prize. See you next week. Thanks, Chef. Yeah. Thank you. Woohoo! I didn't place first or second, but I placed third and I took out a veteran, so I feel good. Awesome lemonade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>